Amazon have officially launched their dedicated digital signage device, the Amazon Signage Stick. And today we're going to go through how to set this up and how to install signage live on it. I'm actually running through this process myself for the first time today, but what I'm told is great about this particular device is the plug and play simplicity of the Amazon Signage Stick. So in theory, we should be able to plug this in, get this powered up, connect it to the internet and install our chosen CMS on it within a matter of minutes. So let's waste no time getting started. In the box, you get the signage stick itself, you get your power cable and you get a remote control. As you can see, mine is fresh out of the box. So we're just gonna open this up now. This doesn't come with batteries, I believe. I've put batteries in this already. So you may need to source batteries for your remote, but it looks very similar to the consumer grade fire stick if you've ever had your hands on one of those. Today, I'm actually gonna be plugging this into a Sony Bravia device and I'm gonna use the built-in power from the USB of the device itself to power the signage stick. So let's get this plugged in. This is just a HDMI extender that I've got in the side of the device here. And I'm gonna shove this into the USB port up here. So my signage stick is powered and we are going into the HDMI of this Sony device. I'm now gonna switch over to the HDMI channel for this device. And there we go. This is the first screen we get when we boot up our signage stick. So firstly, we're gonna press our home button to get our remote control up and running. We're gonna pair this to here. And as you can see, we've now got a message here saying, press play to start. I'm gonna press play and we'll get started. We're now being prompted to select our language. In my case, I'm gonna go to English United Kingdom. We're now scanning for Wi-Fi networks. I'm gonna to connect to the Wi-Fi. So I'm connecting to my Wi-Fi network now. Connection successful. So the next step is that we need to go to Amazon Signage Manager on our laptop or on a web browser, and we need to enter this code here. And that's gonna allow us to pair that with our Amazon account and manage what CMS platform we're gonna put on this device. So I'm now on the home page of the Signage Manager, and immediately I'm being prompted to log in with an Amazon account. In my case, I already have one, so I'm gonna do that straight away. It's worth noting that for the purposes of this demo, we are actually setting this up on a different URL. So you might find that the URL you have on screen when you come to set yours up might differ to mine ever so slightly. Either way, when you follow that URL, you should meet a page that looks very similar to this one that I'm on now. So I'm gonna log into my Amazon account. And in your case, if you don't have an Amazon account, this would be the point at which you would sign up. If you hit the login button, you'll see there's a button at the bottom that will allow you to sign up. And now we're in the signage manager and we're immediately being prompted to enter this code that we're seeing on screen here. So I'm gonna scroll down, I'm gonna enter my code here, which is Q-E-U-T-G-Z. I'm gonna select my CMS. So in my case, it's gonna be signage live and hit save. So our signage stick is now rebooting. As I'm powering this up for the first time as well, it's also going through the process of downloading any updates that it has available too. And now you can see that this has already started to download signage live. So after a few moments, we've been brought to the startup screen for the signage live application. We're now gonna set this to auto start. That will just mean that this will launch in kiosk mode every time that this device boots up. I'm gonna hit save and there we have it. A signage live activation code ready to be activated in our signage live network. I hope you found this walkthrough helpful. And if you have any questions about signage live and the Amazon signage stick, do get in touch and we'd be more than happy to help.